When I make react videos, it's like a holiday special. I don't do this often, you know, I'm not like Moist, and I'm definitely not like Keemstar, because no one likes Keemstar. That crypto shit. So let's talk Overwatch 2. If you didn't hear, they canceled the PvE mode. And now you're gone. The mode they marketed everyone before it was released. When Overwatch 2 was announced, they were saying PvE is going to change it. This is what's going to separate it from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2. And gamers were hesitant, but they were on board. So they canceled it. Because they probably got enough money from the season pass and they're like, eh, fuck this shit. Let's do less work and let's just do multiplayer. Which in the grand scheme of things, I guess it's better because that's probably the most popular anyway, even if they had a PvE mode. But I don't understand why a big corporation like Blizzard can't do both still. It's not like Overwatch is a separate game. It's literally a copy and paste from Overwatch 1. There is not no, there is no major changes. So, but they canceled it, so everyone's pissed. Really, Candace? Do you have any idea what you just did? I was just trying to help. Well, your help this morning messed us up so badly, we came this close to being wiped out at the mall. As they should be. I would be fucking furious if the game corporation that I loved did some stupid shit like that. I'm not a big Overwatch guy. I never said I was. I played it here and there. It's a solid game, but it's kind of stupid that you, hey, you promised this, but you're not even going to do it. You're not even going to try. Out of pocket for that shit. This feeling is like we just watched a YouTube video and got clickbaited. It's like David Dobrik actually forgetting to get the Tesla in the video. Well, congratulations, Blizzard. This is what happens when big gaming corporations get lazy and we the consumers lower our standards. And you get the award for the laziest corporation ever. <laughs> oh, wow. There must be a blizzard going on right now because your whole fan base is frozen to death. They're leaving. They're they're escaping. They're going to fucking the sunrise, okay? They're leaving the blizzard. They're going to fucking Hawaii or some shit like that. Like, you can't be serious. Like, you, you can't promise something and take it away. Am I surprised? No, not really. I mean, it's a free game, so... They're probably gonna focus on things that will give us- get them the most money. Like cosmetics, maps, all that shit. Like Season Pass. It's fucking stupid, but it's the way gaming is now. Season Pass or fucking cure wall. You know, you get a Season Pass going, man. You can fucking milk the shit out of that. That's- that's in the money, man, you know. Every season, man, <laughs> fucking pay up. And yeah, that's my reaction to Blizzard doing Blizzard bullshit. Um, personally, I would not- approve of this but i had to talk about this because i'm a gamer and this affects the gaming industry obviously it just shows that hey man we're focusing on more on live service games now it's kind of sad where the gaming industry is, is going or it is right now the state of it it's live service or bust you know these corporations ain't looking to be creative anymore and they're like all right what can get us the easiest and quickest buck and not uh, how can we improve our the experience for our players it's pretty sad. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you all in the next one.